till now we have discussed about how to write an abstract how to develop a poster for a conference how to go about the oral presentation for a conference presentation now we are going to discuss in detail and also refresh the concepts that we have already covered in our previous lectures through effective manuscript writing we'll and try to understand that what are the steps what are the things that you have to note before you deep dive into actual writing for a manuscript for a particular journal target journal and what would be your target audience how to select the target audience what would be the pattern which section to be written first and which section to be highlighted at the last while you are drafting your manuscript so at the end of the session you would be able to understand the manuscript structure and the need for effective writing why we actually require to understand the rules and regulations of writing while you are writing a manuscript this is the most important aspect that we are going to discuss today and then appreciate the fact that effective writing is more than just a structure so uh, so what are the types of the manuscript that are generally being written when you are a student when you are an uh, academician when you are part of any industry or any uh, job where you are working as a scientific writer or a communicator so the types of manuscripts include original research articles where you have done any research for example during your phd you do some research you answer some questions related to your objectives during your tenure as a phd scholar so you write all those results in the form of a manuscript as original research articles because that is the new research that you have conducted and now you have to compile all those results and make a manuscript out of it then reviews and meta analysis viewpoints when you are when you start your phd or when you start discussing when you start thinking about a topic then you read some of the previous articles that have already been conducted and reported as per the similarity of your topic it would not be exactly the same what you are trying to achieve it should be the similar one so you get multiple of those articles that has already been conducted so you write a review compiling all those articles what these articles means what these articles state and also the most important aspect is you want to identify the gap in the research so that you can take that topic forward and complete try to answer a future questions from these articles so you write a review article to find the gap so gap analysis is one thing another type of review is meta analysis systematic review or meta analysis where uh you do the literature review but in a very systematic manner you report what did you find you include you exclude the studies according to a particular protocol it's not cherry picking but a systematic way of reporting of the studies which have already been conducted in the similar area as your study question and view point sometimes we we also publish after reading something on a particular topic we want to express our view points so we also write the view points into a journal and submit it as our view point or as a short review what we can call it as then we write editorials or letter to editor or commentary or a brief communication about a particular topic and then case reports or case studies where we are particularly discussing about one peculiar case or couple of them which have very peculiar but you find it very interesting to be reported as a form of a manuscript into a journal so these are the basic types of uh, manuscripts that you work upon so why it is necessary to publish and also get it right so this we think uh, this thing we are discussing since the start of the series where we were talking that if, if you don't publish then in scientific community you just perish away so it is very very much important very much necessary to uh, publish what you have researched writing for a particular audience choosing your message 
So, according to your message, you should select your target audience and accordingly. The uh, second and the third point are interconnected according to your target audience, you have to select the journal where your target audience would be most interested in finding those results. For example, if you are writing for, for patients, then you, uh, then you can't submit or select the journal which is paid because everybody does not have access to those paid journals. Then you would cho choose a journal or a scientific magazine where the patients would be most, uh, uh, most targeted. So, you have to select your audience as well as journal in hand in hand, right? So, structuring a manuscript. Structuring of manuscript is also very important. See, we uh, in the last slide, we have seen multiple types of manuscript. You are writing a review article, you are writing an original research report or a case report. So, the structure of the manuscript will vary according to the type of the manuscript you are developing. Also, the structure of the manuscript depends on the journal guidelines, what journal guidelines are specifying. If they want you to write a structured manuscript, then you have to write a structured one. If they are looking for an unstructured one where you are just writing in the form of an editorial, it would be a simple messaging. What sections to be included, what type of references to be done. So, all this depends on your journal and the type of the manuscript you are working on. So, pointers on effective development, title to discussion, what all points you have to take care while writing the title, the rest of the section till the discussion part of the manuscript. So, we are going to discuss all of them. So, everything while writing a manuscript matters, even the title. What kind of guidelines we need to follow? This depends upon two things. One is the type of manuscript you are working on and the second, second thing is what kind of journal you have selected. So, guidelines if you are writing uh, uh, an uh, RCT or a systematic review or an observational study. So, there are different type of guidelines that help you in drafting the manuscript according to the study design, consort, strobe or prisma. For example, if you are writing a systematic review, then you have to follow a prisma guideline or if you are writing an uh, observational study results for an observational study, then you have to follow the strobe guideline. So, that all depends what kind of manuscript or what kind of results you want to present through your manuscript. And the last point is what makes journal editor happy? is the adherence to the journal guidelines. So, that is very important that you adhere to the journal guidelines, what the journal has specified about it. Accordingly, you have to select the type of referencing you are going to incorporate, the font size, font type, everything that has been specified by the journal editor, you have to adhere to all those guidelines to avoid any kind of rejection. So, how to plan? Why did I do the research? What was important about it? Right? So, if, um, if I uh, did a review article or literature review for my PhD, then I will go for a review article, right? Manuscript in the form of a review. But if I did an original research, then I would go for an original research type in a journal manuscript. But in this case also, there are two different type of studies. Either I did a prospective study or a retrospective observational study. So, accordingly, I have to select my guidelines. Accordingly, I have to select my journal. So, why did I do the research? What was important about it? So, it is important. So, why did I do the research? Te will tell you and help you to understand what kind of audience you want to target to publish your manuscript. Then what do I want to say? What is my message? It is a message for a scientific community. It is a message for a public. It is a message for a, uh, for a government, for the government if you are writing a policy paper. 
so accordingly you have to select your journal and your target audience according to your message what do i want to say who do i want to say it now this is your audience as per your message you will select your audience if i say that a particular innovation has been implemented by the government in this in uh, such field then i want to tell you tell the government that this policy uh, this um, innovation is effective the results from this innovation aspect is very important so this should be included in such such policy so accordingly my audience would be now the policy makers and the government if i say the drug a and drug b was effective in reducing overall survival in rheumatoid arthritis then i am giving this message to physicians as well as to the patients so now my audience is different so that all depends that who do i want to say it to then what is the best way to say it what format should i choose if the results are very much um, important and very much relevant then i would go for an original research article if i just reviewed the already available literature and i just want to summarize those and publish those then a review article would be the best format for that if i say the results are there for an original research but they are not that impactful i just want to show that i have conducted this kind of study and this is in concurrence with the rest of the studies that has already been conducted in the similar area then probably i would go for an editorial or um, uh, editorial would be best or if someone has published something and i am working on a similar area and i want to comment on that particular research in some way or the other then i would go for a commentary so that all depends what is the best way to say it when what format would i choose now where should i say it so as we have seen in the above messages we have to check would which would be the best journal according to the above questions that i answered so i have to select the journal accordingly for example if i am working on an oncology or a cancer study then i would prefer the journals which are publishing the results in a cancer uh, area not on any other disease area or if my uh, uh mine is a research paper original research article then i won't select nature reviews because that basically publishes the review articles right so i am just giving you an example on that so where should i say it is important right so now always start with the end in mind so that is an important line that always start that i have to publish this with these audience in mind and this would be my journal requirement so remember the 3c rule while writing a manuscript clarity conciseness and concept right so it should be clean clear message prior to kick start the ideas should be very clear before you start writing it you should know what your audience would be which your journal would be what message i want to deliver what kind of audience i am going to target why i did this research all these questions that we discussed in the last slide you should be very clear with the answers of all those questions before you actually deep dive to write the second c for 3c rule is the conciseness the choice of correct word or phrase is often unnecessary never exaggerate you don't want to add adjectives or additional things to your results you just say what did you find then the third c of the 3c rule is conceptually you are correct the concepts should be read read write and read 
better performance and if sufficient thought is given to the concepts editing and re-editing can largely be avoided avoid trafficking your concept should be clear and well thought before you actually write and then it's not that you just put uh, 50,000 words and just start reducing them to create a 4,000 word manuscript that's not the right approach right you should be very clear in your mind what you want to write before you actually start writing so do you know your audience so journal selection will tell you I mean your audience will tell you which journal you have to select important that a target journal has been selected before writing why would you say that why should I select a journal before I start writing because I just told you that every journal has its own guidelines of writing own guidelines for the referencing also so if you select the journal after you have done all your part of writing and referencing of the sections then it would be really difficult for you and a task for you to change it according to the journal guidelines further if you have written 4000 word article and the journal says the limit is 7000 then you where are the rest of the 3000 words you have to do a work a homework again and write few more words that becomes really difficult once you have concisely written your words or your article then it becomes really difficult to elaborate more or vice versa if you have written 10,000 words or 7,000 words for a particular journal and now you select a different journal which says just 3,000 words or 4,000 words then it becomes really tough so word count is one thing then number of tables and figures allowed always it's always preferable to use more tables and figures to present your results and the number of tables and figures allowed in a particular article depends on the journal guidelines what journal says some journal says combine three tables or figures you can use or they say three tables three figures for example then it becomes really difficult for you to rearrange everything then type of articles and their word count that all depends that which kind of journal is selecting which kind of articles see systematic reviews for example might not be uh, very supportive in uh, each and every type of journal so you might think that okay I should select a journal first who generally accepts systematic reviews or the review articles in general so open access um, options so nowadays most of the people are looking to increase their readability uh, and reachability of their audience we are looking for open access options so is the open access option paid or uh, free or is it available or not available you have to check all those things before you actually start writing options to add supplementary material see sometimes what journals say is like JAMA or NEJM so what they generally say is that uh, you write an original research articles ranging from three to four thousand words and whatever you want to add or inform your patients or your audience in more detail then you can use the supplementary material and upload that so uh, that is an um, that becomes really uh, helpful when you have uh, large data to present but uh, due to word count you are unable to do so then you use the supplementary material option and then um, upload all those data into that particular section but all the journals do not allow to have that supplementary material options so you have to select accordingly what would be the impact factor acceptance rate and cir circulation for example um, uh, in terms of circulation you have your target audience for example uh, you want uh, Indians you have focused on Indians but um, you select some particular journal which doesn't actually is subscribed by Indian population so what would be the advantage of um, using or selecting that particular journal so the journal should have the circulation in the area in particular geographical area where your audience is so that is an, an another important factor which you have to select while selecting your journal correctly so get samples read those samples from these journals and then you will be able to understand all these points so now we are 
having a brief overview this we have already discussed in abstract part also but this is this in manuscript it would be in more detail so what each section of a manuscript tells us about so one is title so title what does title tells you about why should i read this paper right the title is all about why i should go about deep diving into this paper as an audience so you should inform your audience accordingly so that it can attract lot of audience towards your paper then comes the introduction part why was this study done what was the gap analysis what was the previously done studies and why you are doing it now and what would be the different approach you are trying to imply then what is the method section how where when was the study done so in method section or methodology section you have to answer these three particular questions how the study was done where the study was done and when was the study done all these details needs to be explicitly explained into your research article or your manuscript results what were the main findings see in results section we are just telling what are the findings we are not adding anything which relates to its interpretation so that is very important point to note again and again and we do make mistakes into this that we start interpreting our findings into the results section which is not correct results are meant for writing only your findings then goes the discussion section what does it mean discussion section is meant for discussing about your findings interpreting those findings and also discussion section is meant for comparing the previously conducted studies with your study what was the difference why the difference was and if there are any limitations or challenges while you conduct your study so all these things needs to be incorporated into the discussion section of the manuscript then comes the conclusion section what should be done now now you have written that what are the findings what does it mean what was the comparison from the previous study what are the limitations but now conclusions the overall two line conclusion that what what did you find from your study and now what are the future directions what are the recommendations from your study needs to be included into conclusion section so now come the question which section do you write first so that is a very interesting question where we see that what what needs to be written first so as a personal uh, choice uh, or um, uh, in general what is the easiest section to write is the method section see how i did my study where and when i did study this is very much clear before uh, before writing i know that i did this right before seeing the results i know that where i did this study when i did this study everything is pretty clear so it becomes really easy to compile the method section at the first place into a manuscript so this is the first section that you write 